In LA's Little Armenia, people marched in protest. As police looked on and diverted traffic. The protesters say, it's time now to right an old wrong. They want the world to know about what history called the Armenian Genocide. They took our land from us and they killed a lot of people, so we're trying to get that to be recognized. In 1915, historians say the Ottoman Empire began executing Armenians and forcing them to march into the Syrian desert, resulting in 1.5 million deaths. This is what they call the Armenian Genocide. Uh, my grandparents walked on the streets, uh, I mean, on the deserts of Derzor. It's a proven fact. The insurance companies at the time, New York, for example, New York Life, paid those families because those families did have policies back in 1950s, and they recognized those people were murdered. While Armenians and their families marched in the streets of Hollywood today, there's still a small minority in Los Angeles that believes it wasn't a genocide, and they refuse to say the G word. Whether it's genocide or not, there's only one body in the whole entire world that can decide on that, and that is International Court of Justice. Ergan Kirlikovali of the Los Angeles Turkish American Association says the Armenian genocide was not a genocide, but a civil war. My father was the sole survivor of the village of Kirlikova, my namesake. This whole book, about 400 pages. The entire village was decimated by Bulgarian and Armenian gangs. T Armenians took up arms against their own government, their own neighbors, their own s fellow citizens, and Turks defended their home. We asked him why then would the idea of genocide prevail? It's what the Armenians say. They flood the marketplace with these news. They, propaganda, they create a propaganda machine that repeats this all the time. So people think genocide happened. They can slap you in the face and then turn around and cry and say, she slapped me. If you can understand this, then you can understand Armenians. What the gentleman told you is exactly what the Turkish government has been saying for a long time. It's a lie. <laughs> USC professor Dekmajian says, the evidence of the Armenian genocide is overwhelming, much of it being recorded in video interviews with genocide survivors at the Shoah Foundation a digital archive started by Steven Spielberg at USC. Uh, the evidence at the Shoah Foundation, right around the corner here, uh, and in books, evidence in Turkish archives, evidence uh, of pronouncements of Turkish statesmen, including the people who did it. Armenian rights groups are used to denials by the Turks. They keep on lying, uh, but I can understand why. Because if they say yes, that means Turkey will have accepted uh, to have done this first genocide of the 20th century, uh, but also would have to pay restitution. But even President Barack Obama won't officially say the G word. That's because Turkey is a NATO ally and is home to a military air base that is vital to U.S. operations in the Middle East. We're going to stand united and we're going to fight for what we know is right and we're going to get to where we need to be. Armenians in L.A. still hope that 2015, the 100-year anniversary, will be the day Obama says the G word. Heather Navarro, Hollywood.